welcome back to ophthalmology for undergraduates and postgraduate beginners now on i am going to discuss about the short cases kept for undergraduates in ophthalmological clinical exams in the video you just now saw this patient came to me with the complaints of decreased vision in the right eye associated with glare on looking at a light and whenever the patient sees a bright light patient had watery all these things were present for the past few months on examining the patient i noticed the central portion of the cornea in this patient is not transparent it is not clear there seems to be a opacity in the central portion of the cornea so after thoroughly examining this patient i came to conclusion this is a nebular type of corneal opacity in this patient now let us see what are the different types of corneal opacities how they affect the vision and how to correct those opacities or treat those opacities in the patients corneal opacities are of four types they are nebular type of corneal opacity macular type of corneal opacity leucomatous type of corneal opacity and adherent leucoma why you get so much different types of corneal opacities is because as you know the cornea is having five layers now they say there are six layers including the duos layer depending upon what are the layers that are affected in a trauma or a ulcer whatever it may be a scar will develop in the cornea depending upon the layers affected the scars are classified into these four types before going to the description of each one of the corneal opacities we should definitely know which are the layers of cornea that cannot once again reform or regenerate following a insult or injury the bowman's membrane and the stroma if they are damaged they cannot regenerate and these two layers will be replaced by a scar tissue in the picture just now you are seeing the patient is having a nebular type of corneal opacity the opacity is very very faint the layers affected in the cornea or the bowman's membrane or the adjacent small portion of the stroma because a very thin portion of the cornea is affected the opacity is also very thin when you see the eye with the dark light through the opacity into the deeper structures the deeper structures will be seen and that details will also be seen such a thin opacity this is this type of opacity will cause so much of blurred vision to the patient there will be so much of glaring in the eyes the patient may have watering on looking at a bright light but the patient will not have any pain or anything else these patients if they are having this opacity in the central portion of the cornea just like what i showed in the previous picture what will happen is it will affect the vision very much so in those people we have to do a lamellar type of keratoplasty what is lamellar type of keratoplasty here only the bowman's membrane and a small portion of stroma is affected we need not replace the entire corneal thickness by doing a keratoplasty 
just the Bowman's membrane and a small portion of the stroma alone, we can remove from the donor cornea and remove that opacity, place there and get rid of this opacity and also the symptoms of the patient. In this picture, you are seeing the macular type of corneal opacity. A macular type of corneal opacity is caused by a disease process which is affecting the Bowman's membrane as well as about 50% of the corneal stroma. If such a big portion or thick portion of the cornea is affected, naturally the scar is going to be bigger and thicker. That scar will appear greyish in color. It is easily visible to the eye. Unlike the nebula type of corneal opacity, which is very, very faint. When you see with the dark light through the opacity into the underlying structures, the underlying structures will be seen, but the clarity is not there. This patient has very much a blurred vision. This patient also may have glare in the eyes and watering in the eyes, but there will not be any pain in the patient. This patient also needs a lamellar type of keratoplasty. You just need to replace the Bowman's membrane and half the stroma in the affected portion of the cornea. That is all enough in this patient to get back to the normal corneal layers and normal vision can be given for the patient. This picture you can see a opacity which is whitish or yellowish white in color. When you see this opacity, nothing is visible under the opacity. It is just hiding everything behind it. This is because the cornea stroma is almost fully affected. That is more than 50% of the Corneal stroma is affected by the disease process leading to a very very thick opacity, very very thick opacity. This opacity is whitish or yellowish white and underlying structures are not visible at all through the opacity. This type of corneal opacity will lead to total loss of vision. If it is present in the pupillary area, center of the cornea, if it is present in the periphery of the cornea and it is not involving the pupillary area, patient may not have much of a problem. But if it is in the center of the cornea or affecting the entire cornea, then the patient will be blind. He will not be able to see anything at all. How to treat these patients? We have to do a Penetrating keratoplasty. What is this penetrating keratoplasty? We have to remove the entire opacity. That is the entire thickness of the cornea has to be removed and a good cornea taken from the donor should be replaced in the portion thereby giving some vision to the patient. That way this Leucomatous corneal opacity is treated. In this picture, you can see the pupil is pulled towards one side and also there is a whitish corneal opacity. This is because a, this patient had had a penetrating lesion in the cornea. Either it may be a corneal ulcer which has perforated or patient had had an injury with the stick which has gone through the entire thickness of the cornea and made a hole in the cornea. The natural mechanism of the eye is to block the hole by using the iris. The iris comes forwards and blocks the perforation or hole made in the cornea. This will be there inside the hole. What will happen is the corneal hole will heal with the scar. There is already the iris inside it. So they together form a scar closing that opening leading to a 
adherent leukoma adherent leukoma is nothing but the iris getting attached to the leukomatous corneal opacity that will naturally lead to a distorted pupil or pupil being pulled towards one side that is called as corectopia with this i will stop this video we will discuss something more about this corneal opacity in the next video thank you